Everybody's heard of the fastest hero alive, The Flash. However, unless you're a hardcore DC Comics fan, you probably don't know about all of his powers. Sure, he's got super speed, but The Flash could also chuck lightning bolts at people and is basically immortal. The Flash has loads of other bizarre powers as well. And that's why in this video, The Binger is going to cover all of his hidden powers. We might go through these at a breakneck pace, but we promise not to trip and stumble. Pop open your rings and slip into your speed suit because we are about to cover The Flash's unknown abilities. Outside of running incredibly quickly, The Flash can apply his super speed in some more unique ways. One of the more creative applications of his powers is the ability to phase through solid objects. Thanks to the speed force, the supernatural energy that gives The Flash his powers, he can vibrate every atom in his body at will. If he can sync that vibration up with an object, he can phase right through it, a la Kitty Pride from the X-Men. This makes it essentially impossible to detain The Flash or restrict his movements, as he can also phase through any shackles or bindings. The limit to this ability is that the Flash can't phase through any matter with a changing vibration frequency. It can also take him a while to match the vibration of a material he hasn't phased through before. While this isn't one of the Flash's most offensive abilities, it's certainly a handy one. It also doesn't come up very much in Flash stories, because it makes it a bit difficult to build up tension if the Flash can escape any situation. At least Barry Allen has a solid career as an escape artist if the hero thing doesn't work out. The Mystical Speed Force also grants the Flash the ability to heal at a startlingly fast rate. Injuries that would take most people months to bounce back from take the Flash only a few days to heal through. This lets the Flash get back on his feet and back to beating baddies faster than any other hero. However, this healing factor does come with quite a few drawbacks. The same mechanics that let him heal super quickly also accelerate his metabolism. This means the Flash has to eat a lot in a single day to meet his basic caloric needs and can't get drunk. Similarly, while his body can shake off the effects of poisons and toxins quickly, the effects hit him harder in a shorter amount of time. This power might be more of a hindrance in the Flash's daily life, but it makes a big difference in his hero work. Of course, the life of a hero means making plenty of sacrifices, too. And all things considered, eating a few dozen cheeseburgers every single day is a small price to pay for superpowers. Also, come on, who doesn't wish they could pig out and not have to worry about any weight gain? The Flash can run so fast that he can outrun time itself. Okay, as ridiculous as that sounds, it's true, and the Flash's speed allows him to travel through time. Basically, the speed force lets the Flash run through time and interact with past and future versions of the world. He can control where he appears in a timeline with a great deal of accuracy and can return to his own time whenever he wants. However, his actions at other points in time will affect his own timeline and can greatly alter the world he knows. This can lead to all sorts of hijinks, and even the act of traveling through time can create unexpected repercussions. Like creating another world war or making gorillas the dominant species on the planet. You know, classic butterfly effect stuff, but with less Ashton Kutcher. The risk tied to this power stops the Flash from using it often, but other villains can force it out of him. After all, if a villain starts messing with the timeline, the Flash is one of the few heroes who can put a stop to their actions. If people ever start to wise up to the true identity of the guy running around in the red jumpsuit, the Flash has a couple of ways to throw them off. Barry Allen's best identity disguising trick is his ability to modulate the sound of his voice. Using his ability to vibrate his atoms, the Flash can selectively vibrate his vocal cords to alter his speaking voice. This power might not come up often, but it is a nice character trait that helps fill out the world of Flash stories. After all, it's a joke at this point how people don't recognize superheroes based on their general appearance or voice. For instance, Spider-Man talks to a ton of people who know Peter Parker, and they only rarely connect the two. The Flash explains that oversight away with his voice modulation power. This makes the Flash's world feel a lot more deliberate, and the smaller details of superhero life more explored. The Flash is still by no means a grounded character, but this little bit just makes everything feel a bit more thought out. Now, if only we saw him use this power to do impressions, that could be pretty fun. Much like any Dragon Ball characters as or stronger than Yamcha, the Flash can move so quickly that he can create after images of himself. These projects are incredibly useful in a fight, can be used to confuse or distract a villain. After all, it's pretty hard to punch a guy where there are a bunch of transparent copies of him all talking trash. Granted, this ability isn't the most powerful and useful in a lot of fights, but it's still an interesting one. It's great for sussing out stooges from villains that pose an actual threat, and the Flash looks really cool while doing it. 
even though after-image attacks are pretty played out for anyone who's watched any classic anime. Okay, at this point, you've probably figured it out. The main reason After Image Projections made this video is so that we could talk about where The Flash ranks in Dragon Ball's power rankings. TLDR, The Flash could beat up anyone in OG Dragon Ball and people in early DBZ. Once dudes start going Super Saiyan, though, the Scarlet Speedster is outmatched pretty quickly. Much like his fellow Crimson hero, the Red Tornado, the Flash can create miniature cyclones and tornadoes. The Flash can rotate his arms at super speeds to create an outward spiral of air. Primarily, the Flash uses these mini cyclones to attack enemies from a distance or slow his descent if he's falling in the open air. To create a larger tornado around villains, the Flash pretty much just runs in circles around them. This creates a vortex that sucks the air out of the space inside the tornado and makes most baddies pass out from a lack of oxygen. Of course, The Flash also uses this larger tornado to negate a naturally occurring one. The Flash is also able to use the principles behind these abilities to create whirlpools and water spouts as well. The Flash doesn't usually take on foes in an aquatic setting, but these powers definitely come in handy against the likes of King Shark. You'd think The Flash's ability to manipulate wind so easily would be a bigger part of his shtick, but there are a lot of weather-themed heroes already, so it's probably for the best The Flash sticks to his super speed branding. You know how we mentioned earlier that the Flash can time travel? Well, he can kind of use that power to create an army of himself. You see, the way time travel works in most Flash stories is that any number of Flashes can visit any point in time simultaneously. So if Barry Allen realizes that he's going to be taking on a particularly tough foe like Zoom, future versions of himself can give a helping hand. There's no limit to how many Flashes can visit a single moment in time, but too many existing at once could alert the time rates or other temporal guardians. Of course, other Flashes showing up to a fight could undercut the tension of a situation, which is where the show's final Zoom fight went wrong. Still though, this power is really cool and super OP, even if it is a get-out-of-jail-free card if the writers ever back themselves into a corner. Still, the idea of a hapless villain showing up to fight the Flash and finding a hundred copies of the hero is hilarious enough to forgive any lazy writing. One power that the Flash definitely has but does not use too often are his buzzsaw arms. By vibrating his hands at super speeds, he functionally turns them into chainsaws and can use the friction they create to cut through most substances. While he can already phase through most buildings, this lesser-known power basically means he can rescue others from nearly any confinement as well. While this power certainly has a lot of offensive potential, we don't see the Flash use it in fights that much. That's because it wouldn't be very heroic of the Flash to just chop a criminal's limbs off before they even know what's going on. Nah, that's more Batman's territory. Actually, make that Zack Snyder's Batman. Adam West would have nothing to do with maiming villains. We have seen other villains like Zoom and the Reverse Flash use this power, though, so we know that the Flash can do it, too. Maybe one day we'll see a super edgy version of the Flash use his buzzsaw arms on some unsuspecting crook. Until then, it's good knowing that he has this power under his belt if he ever really needs it. So, you know how sometimes the idea of passing away is personified as an actual person or figure in some cultures? Well, some versions have their own take on the Grim Reaper. However, the Grim Reaper is too slow to catch most speedsters and drag them to their demise. That's why there's a super fast version of death named Black Flash that exclusively apprehends speedsters when they perish. However, a speedster can just race Black Flash to the end of time, a place where death does not exist to defeat it. That's right, the Flash can literally outrun death, which functionally makes him immortal. As you'd expect, the Flash's indirect immortality does not pop up very often. The stakes in most Flash storylines are pretty high after all. It would really undercut the tension in a story if the Flash could just zoom away from his own mortal coil. Still though, the Flash outrunning the personification of death is pretty metal, and more or less makes him immortal. Now if only he could run away from the consequences of his other actions. Oh, wait. Through his abilities to jump between universes and time, the Flash can pretty much reset the events of an entire universe. The catch to this secret power, and it's a pretty major one, is that he doesn't really know how the universe will change when he messes with space and time. That's why he doesn't do it very often. Well, that and because the writers behind a Flash story only have him do it when the DC franchise needs a major reboot. The Flash is at the center of most DC franchise shifts, like Flashpoint and the upcoming adaptation of Crisis on Infinite Earths. Basically, whenever DC thinks their brand is stagnating, they use the Flash to reset the status quo and tell new stories in a new continuity, which is exactly what the DCEU needs right now, as most of its movies received mixed to poor reviews. So not only can the Flash use his powers to save his universe within a story, he can save the entirety of DC Comics. 
That easily makes him the greatest hero in the DC Universe, and one of the best fourth wall breaking heroes of all time. Well, what do you think of all the Flash's secret and lesser known powers? Please let us know in the comments section. While you're there, also be sure to like this video and subscribe to The Binger for more. We have loads more videos on your favorite heroes coming up, and you're not going to want to miss a single one.